Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. I'm Oliver from Route 36 and today we've got three tips to help you catch a great cinematic drone footage. Bring it on. <music> Tip number one, plan your footage before you send the drone into the sky. The first thing you want to do before you even turn the drone on is plan your flight. With the limited amount of time we've got in the batteries, it's important to make sure you know exactly what you're going to do before you turn it on. Don't waste time. Pre-plan your flight, and if possible, make sure you practice any tricky drone maneuvers before you set off. You don't want to be wasting time doing the same maneuver over and over again, trying to get it perfect, when you could be capturing extra drone footage that you can be using in post. Like my old physics teacher used to say, follow the six Ps. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. Tip number two, make sure that your camera movement is as smooth as you can possibly get it. It's super important to make sure that your camera footage is as smooth as you can possibly get it. We want to see nice, smooth, cinematic sweeps and steady flowing movements rather than the jerky robotic actions. If you have jerky movement and inconsistent speeds, it makes the video harder to watch. And it's also very difficult to edit these out in post. As mentioned in tip one, one of the ways to get better at this is practice, practice, practice. The good news about the camera motion movement is that you can practice this anywhere. You don't need to be up a mountain. You can be anywhere. You can be in your back garden and you can still practice those smooth movements. Tip number three, make the best use of golden hour that you possibly can. There are two hours in every day where the natural light settings are at their absolute best. This is the hour after sunrise and the hour before sunset. To make the most of golden hours, tip one and two become ever more important. It's important that you get your movements on lockdown, you've planned your flight. As soon as you get to location, you can get the drone up and you know where you want to send it. There you go, guys. Those are our three tips on how to create great cinematic drone footage. Hope you enjoyed them. If you've got any clips that you'd like us to see, just stick them in the comments, post a link down there and we'll have a look at them. Otherwise, have a great day. Change the rules. Peace.